Okay, so just a quick one before I start this next vlog. Um, back when I was recording Turn Down in the studio, I recorded a whole load of video. I mean, I'm, I'm talking like three and a bit hours worth of video. And I cut a lot of it out for the, the vlog back then because a lot of it wasn't necessary. So this week's vlog, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the gear I use for recording and playing. Um, this isn't a comprehensive all my gear kind of list. Um, this was the gear I was using at the time. Um, I don't talk about my, my Tanglewood 12 string and I don't talk about my uh, second model of my, my main daily driver acoustic. Um, and I also have a Strat electric which I'm trying to sell at the moment. So I just thought I'd give you a brief intro to say this vlog's going to be a little bit about gear. Um, if this isn't your thing I apologise. If you're interested in what I use and how I use it um, please carry on and watch this vlog. Thanks again for your continued support throughout everything. Um, I know these last couple of weeks vlogs have been a little bit hit and miss um, in my eyes personally. Um, I'm trying to work out how to get these vlogs to work when I don't have a gig and, and how I'm going to make stuff that's sort of relevant and interesting. So uh, yeah, this is taken back, like I say, when I recorded Turn Down. So uh, a little bit of information around my, my gear and my thoughts. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Um, so I've recorded using um, a simple shotgun microphone that I bought from Amazon. Um, let's have a look and see what it actually is. Uh, for those of you that are interested. Uh, so it's a newer NW4600. So it's just a, a, a basic shotgun mic. Um, normally I use this when I'm gigging on my own. Um, I use my in-ear monitors and this is a kind of way for me to, uh, to pick up the audio from from people in front of me and what's going on and um, so I have that clipped uh, I have a secondary microphone stand uh, attached to my main microphone stand um, and then I have it's, it's not a it's not a SM57 but it looks like it so uh, this is a a WM57 dynamic microphone that I, I found on, on Amazon again. It's uh, by Waymike. Um, it was £10 and this thing's unbelievable. I've been really impressed with it. Read the reviews was a bit like, mm, okay, for £10 what am I going to get? Read the reviews and people were saying, I've got an SM57, I would quite happily have this and work with this. Um, I've got my trusty Shure SM58. Um, for my for my microphone uh, for vocals, uh, which is obviously my my custom black and yellow from uh, Colorware. Um, and then what other gear am I using? Um, I'm using my uh, <laughs> my main driver, my baby, my uh, my Tanglewood travel guitar. Uh, it's a uh, I say travel guitar. It's a, a Roadster series. Um, this one is my. My pride and joy, um, they did not make this in the left-handed model, so the amazing team at Yobel Guitars uh, converted the nut and the bridge for me, fitted all my electrics for me, and this is my daily driver. Um, if I'm gigging on my own, that's what you'll see me playing. Um, what else have I been using? Oh, <laughs> another one of my pride and joys. This is my, uh, my Epiphone Les Paul Special 2. Um, I actually only found out today that these are discontinued now. Um, my sister bought me this for my birthday. Um, I was a bit gutted. I went to a shop. Um, I was desperate for it. I just spotted it and loved it. And um, I came back after my, just before my birthday, and I was like, "Oh, have you still got it?" And they were like, "No, no, we sold it." And I was gutted. And um, on my birthday that year, um, my sister brought down a, a case, and I was like. Oh cool, brilliant, I've got a new case because I needed one. And um, inside it was this beauty. Um, yeah, I've gigged with this many a time. Uh, I've recorded with this as you can see today. And uh, I love it, it's my pride and joy. My, uh, my big Ashton bass. Um, has it got a model? AB600L. Um, why did I get a blue bass? I got a left-handed bass, basically. Uh, I was playing my dad's bass upside down to do recordings. Got a bit frustrated with it. Um, went and found a left-handed bass. Just needed something reasonably cheap. Again, it's been a real good dream. Um, really nice guitar. Um, I can't thank 
Martin and Mike at Yoga Guitars enough for the reset for this. I had problems with the electrics. Uh, he's rewired the entire guitar. It sounds amazing now. It's playing beautifully. Um, yeah, it's really, really great guitar. Last guitar, but by no means least. And the newest of the family. This is my Gretsch. Uh, I can't remember what model it is. But it's a, it's a ES355 sort of copy or style. Uh, beautiful guitar. Uh, I only picked this up very recently, as many of you will know, you've been watching the vlogs. Um, a stunning sound. Um, I'm not a huge slide guitar player, but I found I can play slide with this. Uh, it gives me a slightly different sound to the Epiphone. It's just pure, it's rich. It's gorgeous, the neck profile is beautiful to play, and it's just a lovely all round guitar. So what am I running all this through? Uh, my Hughes and Kepler 1x12, uh, I think it's got... Uh, uh, I can't remember what voltage Celestians it is in it. Um, I sent it over to somebody the other day and said, look at this, I've got a new toy. Um, so I'll just have a quick look now and see if I can find the image that I sent. Um, and that, the, that's a beautiful sounding cab. Gorgeous, again. Uh, yeah, with guitars to the rescue. Um, yeah, it's got a vintage 30 Celestian in it 60 watts um, and then my little micro terra head um, what's the mixer the mixer is the xair uh, 18 um, but it's the um, rack mount version so there's no dials on it it's all 100% controlled by um, uh, it's all digital so if I show you on here I can just open up XR18 and uh, when it pops through uh, basically it's, it's all controlled through here so um, as an audio interface it turns out that I don't have to do too much I just have to change the, uh, the gain settings and that seems to have worked I was struggling with that to start with um, I've never used it for recording um, I have a, uh, a Behringer audio interface at home um, that's beautiful that's lovely for just quick recording um, I'm doing direct um, it, would, it would have been perfect for this I could have brought it with me I would have had to done one track at a time but I wanted to give that a try um, other gear I'm losing Amplitube um, I've got some presets on there which um, I don't I could potentially share if people really want um, funnily enough it's actually mainly orange amps so the Tiny Terror rather than the Micro Terror head with a couple of pedals and that's all I've used um, I've used the Tiny Terra for the distortion channel and for the lead channel I've actually used a rocker reverb 50 I think it is um, which gives that real nice echoey sound um, again a bit of a weird setup because I'm running an amp simulator through a head into a cab but I've actually got the uh, I had the gain actually a lot higher than I realized just looking at it now um, I had the gain at halfway on the Micro Terra. Normally I drop that down to about three quarters and it gives me um, gives me a lot more of what comes out of Amplitude. A lot, uh, not cleaner, but a lot more direct of what comes out of Amplitude. But actually I found that sound today worked really well. Um, so I'm really chuffed with that. Uh, that's a bit of a trial and error thing, but it's a mistake from me that I've got the gain too high, but actually I'm really chuffed with the output. So you could argue that, that that's a happy mistake. Um, really then I'm using my yellow leads. Uh, these are all by a company called Noble. Um, they, I just wanted yellow and black. <laughs> Not going to lie, I wanted yellow and black. Um, but they've been really trusty. They haven't let me down so far. Um, so I've been really impressed with them. Um, I can't complain about them at all. It's been really good. And then I'm using my Mac. Uh, I've got a 2016 uh, MacBook Pro with the touch bar. Um, and what app am I using to record? I'm using GarageBand. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it. It's with my Mac. It's free. I've really enjoyed using it. I, I don't use many of the things. The only thing I've really used on this track is the Auto Drummer. I've been really impressed with that. I didn't expect that to work as well as it does. You, you, you can record a track and just drop it in. So on the demo track, for those of you that heard it, the drums are very, very different. I put in a standard drum loop. 
and then what I've done is recorded that track and then found that if I put the auto drummer underneath he actually adapts to what I've done so uh, yeah I've been playing around with that a little bit which has been really nice